Hello and welcome back to Quantum Conundrum. We're in the library. Library, yay! So... I don't think there's gonna be a lot of library. This seems to be it. What is this? Why is there a death pit in the library? Alright, so we have heavy and slow motion. There's this thing which... We need to go up there to press. Can't press that from here, can I? Nope. Need to go up there. Some lasers. Don't know why there are lasers. No clue. Alright. Over here, another death pit. Great. Fantastic. Well, let's go up here and push the button. And probably get a. Oh. Oh. Hello. Um, I'm assuming. I'm assuming that I should slow mo this. So. Travel safely. Oh, I see. That's funny, because safe... Wait, so... What am I doing? This thing hasn't spat anything yet. Am I supposed to... Sorry, what? Wait, I'm just gonna... Get up on this. Uh... Should I... I'm gonna take one of you. What's that there. saying? It's like wrangling cats? What? Um... Wait. Wait, what? Okay, I, I, I guess I solved it. I think. I... I'm kind of confused. And you don't even need the box. You could just use the books, but fine, we'll use the box. So, just like this, and then heavy. Yeah, that was that was the puzzle apparently. Hmm. These these ones that are so simple, they're not really a puzzle. They're the ones that confuse me the most. I had this portrait of myself and I commissioned before we began time travel in the mid 70s. Time traveling was certainly all the rage back then at least among the more scientific circles. One of our colleagues used to throw the most amazing costume parties, and you know you just can't beat the real thing. What? That was off topic. Do you know that the only legal way to hunt tigers is to travel back in time to do it? Not that I would recommend doing as such. Interestingly enough, I have a hypothesis that the only reason tigers are about to go extinct is because people are going back in time and shooting them. Makes sense, I guess. The odds are stacked against you. I'm sure I'll manage, somehow. I made the first prototype when I was your age. I haven't had the heart to change the design. But the bot bots or whatever they're called. Whoa! Oh! Oh god. Okay, that scared me. Um. Uh, I there should be here. an IDS battery on the other side of the fan. Was that what I was supposed to do? Also, can can we see what the slow mo tiger is like? No, can't really see it. Wait, what? Oh, in there? Okay. What is this? Oh, the the laser. Oh. Okay. I'm mildly confused. Oh, I can jump up there. Let's do that. Oh, well, that's very tall. 
can't jump this. Can I? Nope. Damn. Oh, there's a staircase! I didn't even need to do what I just did. Okay. Okay. So, let's just let the laser sap one of these off. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll let him get the other one as well. Come on. There we go. Oh, oh, yeah. Bit too slow there. Thing number 96 you will never experience. Backpacking through Europe. I'm not sure how I got up there the first time. There should be an IDS battery on the other that side of the fan. That didn't really make any sense. Can I jump that? Maybe. I did not even touch the laser. Thing number 501 you will never experience. Your first car. I call bullshit on that one. Yep, there we go. And... Oh, I... I can make that jump, I just failed, I jumped too, too early. Oh, and then I can ride this one. And jump across and make it slow motion. Yeah, so I can get the, the heavy thing. I can't see! Alright, let's do this again. There we go. Not even sure if you're supposed to be able to make that jump, but... How else would you do it? Oh, of course. Wow. You're supposed to grab heavy from this and make this heavy, and then once it goes, like, over here, then you jump over to this side or something. And then you can have one more safe as well. So I guess I technically cheated this one, but whatever. I managed to do it. It's a monkey. It's like having your own personal zoo. Children like zoos, right? So, at this point, I just want to run up here. I'm just going to make... Some of the more, some more safes disappear. There, and now I just jump on this. And I should be able to get over to the IDS battery. Why is this one not falling? Why is this one falling so much slower than the other four? I don't know, but I can jump across now. This door, though. Oh, it's just opening. Alright. Okay. And then we just have to... Uh, we have to make sure this one is completely full. So, let's see. Oh, I thought it started from the other side. Alright, do over. Maybe, maybe you can do it with four. Let's try it with, with uh, four, just fun. So, I'm gonna make it kill one of those and then just make it heavy from now on. We'll try this. Probably won't work, but it might. Well, it might be close. Yep, we made it. Okay. Our time travels took us to feudal Japan, where they took a rather strong liking to Ike. I hope introducing them to a small, cute, fluffy creature somehow didn't alter the present. Ah, there's a ninja in this painting. You just can't see him. So many jokes. So little funny. But the cute thing is kind of clever, I guess. Japan does love their cute things. Ike and I traveled back in time once to find the fabled lost city of gold. We never did find it, and to be honest, the lost cities of bronze and silver really weren't that impressive. Could have been worse, I suppose. The story in this game is kind of strange. They're really... Robot Block Party. 
there really isn't much of a story because most of the story is just him telling random, like, what are they called again? Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, anecdotes about his experiments and stuff. Wait, so what's going on here? Oh, they're pushing blocks. What if I make them heavy? Still nothing. Uh, so I can just make them slow motion, right? Keep an eye on that activation beam. Oh, so the activation beam is what causes them to trigger, maybe. You really ought to stay out of their way. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see what's in here. More robots. Do I want more robots? I guess so. Oh, so I can get safes? But I need Fluffy for this, so I guess we're going somewhere else. Can I jump on one of these boxes? Box, please! There we go. Oh, good job. I actually don't think I can stand on those. I'm not sure, though. Thing number 91 you will never experience. Getting old enough to... Wait. Hold on. I'll remember it. So, I don't think I can actually stand on these mid-flight. No, I cannot. Unless I make them heavy. I think. Oh, I think I lost one. No, even if they're heavy, I can't really stand on them. So... Alright, whatever, I'm just gonna grab these. So, exactly what am I supposed to do here? Can't do anything like this. Oh! Keep an eye on that activation. This is a thing. Yeah, I can't get up anywhere. The only thing I can really do is open this door, and that doesn't help me. Oh! Oh, they come out! I see. So then I just need to make sure this doesn't activate. Okay, okay, now I get it. I was confused there for a second, but now it makes sense. I guess I only need one, really. So let's just do this. Oh, he's like turning around, looking at me like, Help! I'm falling! Oh! Okay, I could stand on that. Oh, this is sketchy. Alright, made it. Here's a fluffy thing. Also, if you hear some weird construction noises, I'm sorry about that. There's something going on outside. Can I jump across this? I do not think so, but let's try it. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Maybe I could. Maybe I could. Let's grab a safe. Oh, right. I need to... Wait, can I do this? Yes, I can. Cheating. Hooray. Oh. Oh, okay. Quick, get out. That was close. Oh my god, the construction noises. There feels like they're getting closer to my windows. So... Let's try... What the hell is going on out there? Jesus. You probably won't be able to hear this, but this is strange. 
There's some really weird noises going on. So... Now, I wanted to see if I could stack a safe on top of these guys, but I don't think I can do that. So, let's just do this. I actually want to keep this safe, so I'm just gonna do... that. And now, I guess I can just slow-mo over there, probably. And I guess that's what I'm supposed to do, probably. No, safe, why? Okay. And... I do need something else, so... Oh, yeah, okay, cushion is fine. Whoa, what is... What was going on there? That was strange. So wait, what is happening here? This doesn't open. And... Wait, this is where I came from. Oh, I see. I see. So all you really did in this was grab the fluffy dimension so you could slow-mo over here. Wait. Wait, wait. Wasn't that completely unnecessary then? You could just... Yeah, you could just grab Fluffy from up there, grab, like, one of these uh, armchairs or something, and just walk through here. Well, that was pointless. And then... There we go. Oh there my goodness, here, the noises. Holy crap. Though, wait. Wait. Is that lint? Ugh. Boost of confidence. Yeah, okay, it would be a bit too early to end the episode here, I feel, so I'm gonna keep going a little bit more in this section as well. We'll see how hard this is. Apparently, you feel you don't need an advanced degree in robotics to operate that. I don't. It's the compression platform again. I know. Thank you for reminding me. You remember that you need a I do master. remember that. Thank you, game. Thank you for being extremely obvious with everything and anything. Hi, Mike. Bye. Uh, can't I just grab this? Pretty sure I could just reach that. Wait, I'm actually bouncing. Wait. Did you see that? I went, like, higher. I feel like I'm going higher. But I guess I might need an object here. I could always do this. Hooray! Well, I suppose you could see how I got that one up there. He's always been a fan of the compression platforms. Mm-hmm. And with this one, I probably do... Well, I probably don't need to do this, but I could do... Let's see if this works. How oh, can I jump that? I don't know if I can jump that. Maybe on the way down. Up. Oh. Yep. Okay. Good. And this one... I see, and then slow motion. Okay, this is pretty clever. I like this. Nope. Damn it. Yeah, like so. Okay, that's that's nice. I like that. And now this is probably where we came in, yeah. And you? Okay, just jump across. Nothing 
too big here. Whoa! I almost just went off the edge. Fantastic. You. Um, I'm just gonna check over here first. Here's a portrait of Widget III with his pet fish, Gidget. Originally, Gidget was going to be a light snack for Widget, but apparently the thought to eat him never crossed his rather feeble mind. You can often find them sitting in front of their portraits, staring in confusion. Or at least, I think that's what they're staring at. I can never tell. Mm -hmm. What? What is... what? It's just checking a watch when you're in slow motion? That doesn't even make any sense. Whoa! What's that saying about daylight savings time? Fall back? Spring forward? Thank you. Uh, I don't understand what's going on with this painting. Also, I just launched that safe. Yeah, bye. What the hell is going on here? Why is... Why are they like balloons in Fluffy? Okay, this game is confusing me more and more. I'll take it and see. Perfect. Okay. Looked like it would do that. Oh. Alright. And down here. It's just the way of getting up. Yep. Wait. Yeah, nothing. Personally, I think daylight savings is absolutely useless and ludicrous, right? I don't know. I can see pros and cons about it. Wait, so what is this? I see. I see. That's clever. I like this. So, I need to do... Whoa! Oh, that was close again. So, where is this? Why... Wait. What happens if I jump down here? Is this where I was? I guess this is where I was. Probably. Most likely. Let's just check. Is it? What is that? Have we been here? I don't feel like we've been there. Have we? Maybe we have. God, this is... I wanna... I wanna check this out, but... Then I have to redo everything. Well, fine. I guess I'll redo everything. Let's check it out. Just... Just to make sure we, we're not missing anything. So, I'll do... Yeah, okay, this is where we came from. Damn it. Yep. And over here is... Where we came from even more. Yeah. Alright, makes sense. Hooray, we beat it! You've got to be kidding me. Gum? Oh. There's some on my shoe. Manhattan Transfer. I'm not sure what that's referring to. But I'm gonna end the episode off here. Thank you for watching. There's a decimal over there. So, that'll be fun. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!